Okay, so something unexpected happened at Walmart today. I was expecting like a $10 price range, $14 maybe, for my FNAF, but um, yeah, this is not what I got. I've had this for years now. This is just a reference as to what I'm going to be going over today. FNAF books I got. So, I'm sitting there in the FNAF section. I'm thinking, you know, I'll just pick up Tales from the Pizza Plex book 5 or 2 or something. My mom's just like, when I go and I grab the three, the three newest FNAF books, being the Character Encyclopedia, Fast Bear Fries Graphic Novel Collection Volume 2, and Tales from the Pizza Plex book 5, she's just like, yep, getting every single one of them is okay. So, um, I put the Tales from the Pizza Plex book 5 back because it just, it was kind of not even, I mean, I grabbed it. And as I'm looking at it, it's just like, really? The main story of this book is uh, part two of the ending of the last book, except for the epilogue. But, yeah, I just didn't like it so much after I encountered it in person. So I'll probably get that in the future. But what I did swap it out for is this. The Golden Freddy Popsies. This thing is only seven bucks. I love metallic gold. And this thing has it all over it. And I passed it up millions of times. So now I finally got it. This is the Golden Freddy Popsies. If you press the button right here, have a killer day. They should have did that one for a purple guy or something. But Funko is obviously not a purple guy person. Anyways, you push it back in, and then you can do that again. But I'm probably going to unbox this on a later video if I do decide to unbox it. But I don't know. It's kind of a cool box, so I don't know, but... Now I'm getting on to the books I got. Here's the first one. Let me get it out here. Yes, I have all the graphic novels now. I got volume two. I was going to pause and get the other ones to show, but I have to say this first. I got these graphic novel books as they came out, literally. Every single one of the graphic novels I have, I got the fucking month that came out. And I'm allowed to cuss on my channel now due to a YouTube law it's not the first seven seconds of the video so i can say it once so there you go um but yeah now i'm gonna get the other books and there you go i have all of the graphic novels i got them the month they came out i got them so this one i got at walmart the month it came out this one i got in my book fair when it came out this one i got in uh on target's website i actually pre-ordered it and then this one right here, I got on Amazon when it came out. And this one, I got um, kind of late, but I still got it. So, I have every single one of the graphic novels to ever release so far. I have Volume 3 pre-ordered right now, so I should get it too when it comes out. I'll have it first as a PDF that I can read, but then I plan on actually going out and buying the physical copy. So yeah, this is cool, but to add to that is the second thing I got today in Walmart, and the final thing I got in Walmart, other than the Prime Energy Drink, a lemon one, lemon lime, the green one, it, it's pretty good, but this is what I got, the Character Encyclopedia, when I saw this thing online, I'm like, oh my god, that is so big, but I'm um, holding it in my hands now, and it's kind of big, but I mean, the dictionary's bigger, but I can't wait to get on, on into this. I'm going to delete my PDF video on my phone now because I used a cheat to get that for free. But I got that physical version now, so I'm not worried about no PDF. But the PDF video will still be up on YouTube. I don't plan on taking it down unless it gets a copyright strike. So, yeah. And I'm still working on the Silver Eyes graphic novel, getting all the chapters in on that. Um... I'll be delayed on releasing the videos of them because I have other videos I'm uploading like this one. I have like 80 videos in my phone. So I'm filming slowly each day. Um, and thanks for rising my subscribers up again. I'm like almost at the 315 subscribers I had before. So this book right here, I will be doing a review of it as soon as I'm done reading it. Same goes for this one, because I haven't finished this one, and I haven't finished this one, because I just had the PDF versions. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying to refund 
the PDF version of this. Now that I got that, but this one already refunded a while ago. So I'm just glad I got it. So, yeah. This is fucking cool. Uh, yeah, I just said that F word twice, but I don't care because it's now a rule that I can do that on YouTube. So, yeah. That is what I got today. Also got two things at an antique store. I got this lizard and then... Yeah, it's a 1999 T.Y. lizard. I'll film a video about that later. Um, and I got this doll, which is pretty vintage. I had to get it because it's like from the 1980s. And it was only $2 there. And normally it would be like 36 or something. I actually remember encountering that doll many times when it was 40 bucks. So when they lowered it down to 2 bucks, I'm just like, boom, snatch. So I've always wanted a doll. It's like been on the shelf for years. And now I finally got one. To add on my shelf. Specifically that one right there. I'll just move some of my stuff. But yeah, this is one of my display shelves. The other one I have my Fomins and Freddy's plushes in. That are tagged. But you know. They're kind of falling out and stuff. I have to rearrange them again. But yes, I'm aware this sucker right here is a bootleg. But he's still going to be a part of my shelf until i can get the official because yeah this ain't the right tag plus pretty frost bear did not come out in 2016 but i'm glad i got the original tag kinda even though it's a bootleg of the original tag still because it's just too shiny to be the original but yeah this is my collection so far and all my f and f books are in a pile on the floor so yeah <laughs> I got a pretty big collection, but yeah, that's all.